Could this be Planet X, a mysterious object observed 20 million miles from our Earth in 1983 may have been the elusive Planet X, Planet 9, Ibiru Wormwood, many names for this. Now, uh, there was a, an astronomer who went back and looked at all this data, and he believes it could be. Its huge orbit would mean it takes between 10,000 and 20,000 years to make a single pass around our Sun. A mysterious small cold object seen 20 billion miles from our Earth by astronomers back in 1983 may have been the elusive Planet 9, according to a new report. Astronomers speculated over the existence of a hidden planet in the outer reaches of our solar system for decades, gaining renewed interest in 2016 when new evidence came to light. We know that Badigan and Brown found the perturbation of the outer planets and said something is causing it, but nothing has been directly observed. Michael Rowan Robinson from Imperial College London turned to the archives hoping to find a blip in old data that could point to this type of an existence. He analyzed data collected by the infrared astronomical satellite IRAS, IRAS, in 1983, and he found three potential sources that might just be Planet 9, or what we call Planet X. Now, we, it's Planet 9 because we already have eight planets, so this would be the ninth planet. Now, while Rowan Robinson admits that the probability of the object being Planet 9 is not overwhelming, he claims it would be worthwhile to check, of course. Astronomers Mike Brown and Konstantin Badigan of Caltech reignited interest in the, the potential super-Earth planet, estimated to be anywhere between 5 or 10 times the size of our Earth. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. And this is the possible location of Planet 9, Planet X. Now, a number of theories have been proposed to explain this unusual behavior including prospect of Planet 9 actually being a grapefruit-sized black hole. Rowan Robinson admits that um, the probability of uh, the object being Planet 9 is not overwhelming, but it's worth looking at. Bat Matt Bat Brown and ba uh, Batigan of Caltech reignited the interest of this super-Earth planet after finding small objects in the Kuiper belt that were orbiting as if they'd been pushed about by the gravity of a larger object. A number of theories proposed to explain the unusual behavior, including the prospect of Planet 9 actually being a grapefruit-sized black hole. But the concept of a super-Earth, meaning a huge type of a planet, a category of planet found in many other systems outside our own, is pervasive, drawing astronomers to the cause. IRIS telescope was a, a satellite operated for 10 months from January 1983 and during its time in orbit, it took a far infrared survey of 96% of the sky. So this is uh, the good thing about it is, was, is that it was infrared. Now, this is a perfect part of the electromagnetic spectrum for finding small, cool objects like Planet 9. But it was long enough ago that astronomers were not looking for the distant world when the data was collected at that time. Rowan Robinson decided to reanalyze this data using parameters consistent with Planet 9. He also used modern computing techniques. It was no small task. The satellite had detected 250,000 points of data during his three months in space. But after an exhaustive search, the astronomer found just three were potentially linked to Planet 9 from June, July, and September of 1983. The data points the satellite picked out uh, showed the object moving across the sky, although it was in a region of space close to the galactic plane. Having three time points showing, it moved across the sky and can also point to its orbital period, how long it takes to go around the sun. The data can then be used to see where it might be now and where to look in other data sources, such as the panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, PANSTARS for short, which was la launched in 2008. So now they can find out where the location should be now and look for it there. 
So far, the analysis of data from pan stars has not led to any positive results. In fact, astronomers have completely failed to spot the candidate planet. Rowan Robinson wrote, dynamical studies are needed to check whether such an object is consistent with the ephemeris of uh, other solar system objects and whether this object can account for the clustering of the orbits of Kuiper Belt dwarf planets. The iris detections are not of the highest quality, but it would be worth searching at optical and near-infrared wavelengths in the annals of radius 2.5 to 4 degrees centered on the 1983 position. This candidate, he says, could be ruled out if radio or other observations confirm the reality and stationarity of iris sources at the 1983 positions. The findings have been published in the preprint server ARXIV. Now, potential orbit of Planet 9 plotted. Scientists have debated the existence of Planet X, Planet 9, since it was first introduced several years ago, but a new study determined the orbit of the alleged celestial object. Caltech researchers Mike Brown and Constantine Badigan plotted the orbital path of the mystical planet, which is yet to be discovered. And in a blog post, Brown detailed that the, highly prob the highest probability of Planet 9's location is near Aphelion, the point at which it is furthest from the Sun, around 60 degrees in right ascension, pretty close to the galactic plane, he explains. If, in fact, Planet 9 were at the median distance of Aphelion right now, it would be roughly 500 astronomical units, AU, or approximately 46.5 billion miles away from the Sun. This means that any data points from that region are affected by galactic cirrus, filamentary clouds that glow in infrared, far infrared. And so would, uh, what could be Planet 9 could also just be as easily be noise from these clouds, Rowan Robinson explained. According to the IRIS data, if the points of data are Planet 9, it's up to five times the mass of Earth and actually orbiting 225 AU from our Sun. To put this in context, the Earth is currently 92 million miles from the Sun, that's one AU, one astronomical unit, whereas Pluto, which was reclassified in 2006 from a planet to a dwarf planet, is 40 AU, or 3.7 billion miles. The incredible distance and relatively small size make it challenging to find. It's too far away from the Sun to be illuminated by the star, so only visible in blips and theorized by the impact its gravity has on objects beyond Neptune. Planet 9, orbits of objects beyond Neptune suggest something large is there. That's what is influencing and pulling the uh, uh, orbits of the uh, uh, outer, uh, outer solar system planets. Astronomers believe that the orbits of a number of bodies in the distant reaches of our solar system have been disrupted by the pull of an as yet unidentified planet. So something is there doing this. First proposed by a group in Caltech in the US, this alien world was theorized to explain the distorted path seen in distant icy objects. And researchers say a body of this size and mass would explain the clustering paths of a number of icy minor planets, which are beyond Neptune. Its huge orbit would mean it takes 10,000 to 20,000 years to make a single pass around our sun. This was by Ryan Morrison, Daily Mail. It's on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.